Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to quickly show you how to apply lip scent stripes. I did a video on why you should wear them a few weeks ago now and I've had a few comments on how to apply them. It's really simple so this is just going to be a quick video but I hope you enjoy it. So first of all you're just going to apply the stencil. Now I got these from my friend Sandy um, and I'll leave a link to her Facebook group below. Um, but you can just do these free handed. I did them free handed for the first six months of um, being a distributor. Um, but they, this way you can just make them a little bit neater. Um, I am going to have a blog post with all the different ways you can do stencils and a load of different in, in, uh and a loads of different pictures so you can see the different types you can get now right now I'm just opening all my different lip sense colors unfortunately I've used the uh, fly girl so much that the lid has come away a little bit um, <laughs> but it's not too big of a problem to be honest um, I'm just opening them all up and putting them on the side ready to go and I'm putting them in the order that I want them so as you do your lip sense on your lips, it's practically the exact same. We're going to wipe all the excess colour off this wand and into the tube. Um, you're then going to make sure your stencil is flattened out and do one clean stroke of colour over the stencil. I'm then going to repeat that for every single colour um, and do the exact same thing, wiping off the excess colour and doing one clear stroke over the stenciled area. As you can see, it usually is just one wand. Um, and that's it's that simple. So we're going to fast forward over the rest of them, but I'm literally just going to do this for every single um, colour and then I'm going to do a second layer for every colour and then I'm going to do a third layer for every colour and then I'm going to apply a layer of gloss over the top. So that's all the colour doing and admittedly they do look a little bit messy but don't worry when you take the stencil off they'll be perfect rectangles. And now we're just going to apply a layer of gloss over the top of each individual colour and you do want to make sure you get a, a, layer, a full layer on. You sealing in the colour it will last a longer time and it will remove the stickiness. If you don't they will still feel sticky to the touch. And now you've just got to remove the stencil. Now admittedly I haven't had much practice with these stencils because I did do them freehand until recently um, and I would definitely recommend taking it off very slowly purely because the lip sense may drip slightly so if you look on my blue red colour um, you can see a slight smudge underneath. Obviously that's really easily rectifiable, um, you just use a little bit of a use remover to make it neater again. And because these stencils are reusable, you just reapply it to the backing and that way you won't lose the stickiness. Like I said, I personally wanted to make these perfect and I just wanted to quickly remove the two little spots above the blue red and the um, Bella. So I'm just getting my oots remover. Um, I'm going to use a disposable applicator because this is my tester. Um, and I'm going to use a disposable applicator to quickly wipe away. Um, as you may notice, the gloss it leaves a little bit of a sticky residue. So I just take a quick tissue and wipe over the top of all the colours and that removes the gloss as well. And that's the finished product. I hope that showed how easy it is to apply lip scent stripes. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll speak to you next time. Bye.